What is up everyone, it is Monk here, and um, I got a tutorial for you guys today on how to make my scan lines that I use in my background. Um, they were taught to me um, a little bit ago by uh, a good friend of mine, Alik, so I'll leave, it to, I'll leave a link in the description to his channel. He's really sick, you guys should go check him out, but basically I'm going to uh, like up his uh, scan lines tutorial because... Um, it's not really used a lot. These type of scan lines are a little bit better than I think most scan lines because a lot of you guys get tutorials on scan lines that are diagonal and they just kind of make the background sloppy and brighter. And these ones are going to be more of your grungy type of scan line. So let's get started by opening up Photoshop. Alright, this really does not take very long. This tutorial is going to be pretty short, but this is definitely um, a big thing I use in my backgrounds. It, uh, puts a very good effect on the back so if you want if you're that grungy type of person then this is probably the best tutorial for you alright so once Photoshop is open go to file new and make your width 2 and your height 4 and make the background content transparent and I'm sorry guys if you can't see my mouse for some reason whenever I record with um Whenever I record with uh, Camtasia, my mouse like disappears for some reason, so um, just bear with me. I'll try and do my best, but once you have those settings, 2 and 4 and transparent, that's all you need to have, um, and click OK. See this little box come up? You're just going to click on your zoom and just get all as close as possible to it, like that. Alright, then once you do that, you want to go on the left side where your tools are right click on that and pick your rectangle marquee tool alright once you do that pick the top um, the top left corner and just drag to about the middle of it like that and then let go of it and then right click on it go to fill double click on color and make it completely black alright now you, you to deselect it so it's not having that outline anymore go control and then click D. Alright, once you got that, that's basically it. That's your scan line right there. So then just go to Edit, Define Pattern, and then call your pattern whatever you want. I just would call mine scan lines, unless you have some other ones in there, then call them something different. Alright, and then once you do that, just click OK. I already have mine in there, so I'm not going to. Alright, so that's basically it. That's the scan lines right there. They're in your patterns. Well, they should be in your patterns. So I'm going to show you a quick demonstration of what they look like. Alright. So. Oops. I don't want that transparent. Okay. So I'll just fill this with a color. Blue. And then... You wanna to w the way you get to your pattern is you double click on your blend op blending options, so you have your layer styles and everything, and then go to pattern overlay, and then hit down the drop arrow on your patterns and just scroll down until you find it. it should be called scan lines, and that's what they will look like. You can you can change the opacity and everything, make them lighter, make them darker. You can make them bigger. You can make them smaller. I but the best part is to, um, 128 percent for the scale. That um, is a good size and it's like not as detrimental to the background. So yeah, that's basically it, guys. Um, I hope you liked this tutorial. I hope it helped. Um, this is probably the most frequent question I get asking how to make my scan lines. So yeah, this is from my tutorial. I mean, ah, oh my god. This is from my friend Alik. I'm just revamping his tutorial in mine. So definitely go check him out. And I hope this helped you guys. And drop a like and a comment telling me what I should do next. Um, I don't really know what I should do for tutorials. So yeah guys, that's basically it. So hope you guys liked it. Peace.